It is 8 p.m. This is Saeed Bamlari Medoa. What a week this is turning out to be. Let's try and take a minute, though, to review it. Another B and the other issued compelling the first and second, second respondents to include the petitioner here in as a presidential candidate for the third We Alliance Party in the fresh elections scheduled for, for 26 September 2017. We honestly believe that Chepukati had uh, completely violated uh, the constitution by discriminating on my candidature. The Court of Appeal, with tremendous respect to the Court of Appeal, reduced the role of the second respondent to a glorified tally clerk. And the question then becomes, in those circumstances, what is the chairman supposed to do? <laughs> IEBCC Jubilee! IBC is not Jubilee! A statement just coming in from the IEBC minutes ago, literally moments ago, we are seeing this statement signed, well, it's not signed, but it says from the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. They say that it is the commission's position that the candidates for the fresh presidential election slated for 26 October shall include all the eight presidential candidates who participated in the 8th August election. So this is the first comment from the IABC after the withdrawal of Raila Odinga and after the High Court ruling today that demanded that Dr. Kuru Aukot be included in that race. And he has said today that he will in fact be in that fresh election on 26th October. You know who else is running? Abdul Badida. He ran for president in, on August 8th. He's running again. And Dr. Kavinga Kaluyu also ran. Both of them will be here with me. They're joining me in a moment. But I just want to read more of this statement coming in from the IABC. It should be circulating out in a moment. Uh, what happens if any of the eligible candidates gives notice of intention not to participate in the forthcoming presidential election? This IABC statement is kind of framed in a Q&A setup and says the commission cannot compel a candidate to participate in an election. The law allows the candidate to withdraw. And they're talking about Raila Odinga having yesterday given formal notice to withdraw. They say that he, they received a letter from him dated 10th October. They, however, have not submitted the statutory Form 24A. Once the commission receives the requisite notice from any of the candidates, it will process the same in accordance with the requisite provision of the law. So the IABC making two major announcements in the statement that just came out. One that their fresh election for 26 October will now include all eight candidates. And two, that Raila Odinga has not formally withdrawn from that race because he has not filed Form 24A. And therefore, as of this evening, as we speak right now, Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musioka are still in the race. When he fills in that form, the IABC will process that properly. In a moment, I will speak to Abdul Badida and Dr. Jafet Kavinga Kaluyu, the both presidential candidates. They'll join me in a moment. But first off, let me talk about... The Nyali MP, Mohamed Ali, I want to play some video for you from Monday when President Kenyatta and the Deputy President William Ruto were in Congo Ware, which is in Nyali constituency. Watch. Nimi kama mgombe ya huru, ninasema ya kwamba, yeyote atakaye fuatilia maisha ya kila mkenya na kuwakikisha usawa na kuwa mbele, kuwa mamoja mbele ya macho wa mwenyezi mungu, basi sisi tuko tayari. Leo ninaomba... Tukienda katika bunge, tukitunga sheria, uweke sheria kali kwa walanguzi na siwa wavutaji. Anaye uza dawa za kulevia hapa, akishikwa, hakuna kucheka na ye. Watoto wetu wamekua kama mazezeta. First of all, the question to Mohamed Ali, the Anyali MP is now joining me. Thank you for coming on sidebar. Thanks. Wazazeta ni nini? Uh, it's, uh, you, you've seen these drug addicts on the streets. Yes. Uh, they are like zombies. Right. Uh, they are our children, but they have been turned into zombie world. Uh, they, you know, they can't talk. There's nothing they can, they can do. If you mm -hmm. look at them, they are in need, but nobody is helping them. Instead of helping them, the drugs are, keeps on coming in. So the drug menace at the coast has turned a lot of the youth into zombies, is what you're saying? Yes. Why were you at a Jubilee event? You're an independent MP. 
Well, I was uh, in, uh, in that event because uh, the president came to my constituency and I'm a member of parliament from Nyali. So I initially hosted the president in my constituency and I had the reason why I was also there because I needed some assistance. I needed my people to be sorted out on different issues. For example, in that video I've addressed about issues to do with uh, drugs, issues to do with uh, jobs for the, for the young men and women in Nyali and uh, the cleanup of uh, the Congo air market. So I had my own reason also being there. And again, that was mature politics. I couldn't play the hide and seek game like the others uh, like doing. Uh, I mean, I'm, a, I'm Muhammad Ali. Uh, you know, you can't just do things because people do things. He is in my constituency. I'll host him, show him around. He does what he does and I'll do what I do. And then everybody goes back home. How are you asking a president who some people believe is on his way out in case Raila Odinga or somebody else is elected, why would you be making these demands about you said you want people sorted out to somebody who's in a transitional period? Well, at the moment he's a caretaker president and uh, we have to give him that respect. The elections were nullified. We agree, we respect what the court uh, uh, did and that's the decision of the court. So he's still the caretaker. You give him his respect due respect. So that is why I was asking. Have you defected to Jubilee? I'm an independent candidate. I don't know these issues of defection, where did they come from? I'm an independent candidate. I don't belong to any party. I have an independent mind and I will sit down with anybody who is for development, anybody who is ready to help people in Nyali and the Kenya at large. So the issue of defection, you must have a party to defect. You are defecting from this party to this party. I am an independent candidate with an independent mind. So I don't know what, when people are saying uh, Mohammed has, 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 has defected, uh, defected to where, and I'm independent. I've been in many functions. I've been in Raila Odinga's faction. I've been campaigning for Raila Odinga. I've been doing a lot of stuff. I've been meeting people from Jubilee. And that doesn't mean, uh, mean that uh, we, we must differentiate two things, politics and ideology. There comes a times of, we might be in different, you know, I'm independent, you're in different party. But in terms of ideology, we are totally two different people. So we should not mix politics and ideology. You don't see anything wrong with mixing with the, at a Jubilee party event, Jubilee colors, Jubilee crowd. You didn't see anything um, wrong with that? Well, uh, the initial plan was we were to visit the market, go around uh, Congo Air. But uh, I have no right to tell somebody not to wear a Jubilee t-shirt or an ODM t-shirt or a NASA t-shirt. The reason why people read into it is because Dennis Itumbi, the State House Director of Communication, <coughs> um, Digital Communication, also posted a picture of you at State House. And he said you hosted the president in your constituency and he hosted your State House. That's Dennis Itumbi. <laughs> you know, you, if you go through the social media, everybody was writing something, but nobody would dare come and ask me, Mohamed Ali, what were you doing here or uh, why did you go to State House? State House is not someone's house. It belongs to the people of Kenya. Uh, we are the taxpayers. Everybody, whoever will be president from 1960 to date, will be going there. And it is being serviced by our taxpayers' money. So me going to State House was a crime. Uh, by uh, a lot of people down there saying, oh, this is the Muhammad Ali we knew. How can he go to State House? You mean uh, going to State House is not a crime? If I go there, the president has, uh, we know we have done with the Congoya market. We are going to State House direct. Where once the president is in, Muhammad Ali comes out and go. I mean, we can't leave each other uh, in, in, in the streets of, of Mombasa. This is, there is a protocol. The reason why people read into that is because traditionally in Kenyan politics, an invite to State House meant you went to get a handout, to get bribed. Were you bribed at State oh, House? I wish, Moha? I wish, I wish. <laughs> This is the perception that is there, that if you speak to somebody, there is a lot of money that is being dished out. If you do something, there is something out of it. Well, there is protocol, there is respect. And I'll do the same even to Raila Odinga. I'll do the same to any other person who will be there by that time. So people should understand that there is respect, there is political maturity, and then the country will move forward. But if we do things because some people are doing in Kenya now, if you want to be a famous person, you fight, beat somebody, do some stupid thing, okay, so, uh, then you become a famous person. But be diplomatic, be a gentleman, follow the law, 
respect people, you will not be respected. You will be told that you are a mole, you've changed. And that is the scenario that is being played around. And these things started in Mombasa. It is not uh, the rest of the part of the country that people are complaining. The, ball, uh, the, the, the plan was hatched in Mombasa because uh, you and I know very well that we are not in good terms with uh, Hassan Joho and Abu Joho, the right. bigger brother, the man I call the governor of Mombasa, is running the entire coast region the way he wants. So this person doesn't want to help me. If you go back to history, the former member of parliament there was Awiti Bolo. Awiti was sidelined by the Joe administration because they never agreed on some issues. So Awiti found himself on the receiving end. The county government will never develop Nyali constituency. I'm going through the same thing. Awiti was once in ODM. He was kicked out of ODM by job. He wanted to put his own person there. You were in Awiti, ODM. I, I, yes. Awiti went to Waipa and he reclaimed the seat. I was in ODM. Joho didn't want me. He wanted his brother to be there. He kicked me out. I went to court. It was nullified. They refused to follow the instruction of the court. I went to the people and I told them this is what happened. They told me, come back independent. We'll give it to you. I went there back independently without a single cent moving door to door from one house to another. And I got the seat with a margin of 10,000. I had 26,000, the brother had 16,000, a margin of 10,000. He still doesn't give up. He's still going to court, making sure that he is petitioning me via a voter. As it is his, the voter's right, I It suppose. is the voter's right, mm -hmm. but we understand how the game is being played in Mombasa. I mean, Joe is seen as a very good person, but people don't know what's going on in Mombasa. All right, Joho is not here to defend himself, so I will... Uh, he will get his time. His time will come. His time will come. What do you make of the current political situation? We are in a situation where Raila Odinga has withdrawn. There's a possibility that there might not be an election on October 26th as an independent MP. Well, uh, there's a lot of things. That economically, we are doing bad, and I think uh, as much as people will want justice, there is always a door for dialogue. There's, uh, you know, uh, the NASA wants some things to be amended. Uh, Jubilee is doing something in Parliament, pushing some laws. And I think it's high time that uh, we should come to an agreement. What we want is free, fair election. Uh, that is what we want. I think they should come together, talk, uh, you know, just the way they did way back during the 2007-2008 post-election violence. They had to talk one-to-one. -one. So you think Rela and Uhuru should get in one room and talk? I, th I think they should talk because uh, as Things are not good at the moment. And I understand everybody is crying for peace, but none of us is crying for justice. The election laws amendment passed in parliament today. So they're going now to President Kenyatta. Do you support the election laws amendment or do you support NASA's irreducible minimums? Well, this is the question that all independent candidates are always asked. Where do you stand? Well, I'll stand with the justice. I'll stand where there is justice. I only have one vote in parliament. So my one vote cannot do anything. So I'll stand with the justice. If I see there's something wrong here, I'll defend it. That's what I'm going to do. NASA is calling for protests from next week every day. Now they're protesting three days, three days a week. There's another one on Friday. Next week they'll be protesting every day. Do you support that? Well, I'll say that uh, it is your constitution right to call for, uh, uh, for picketing. It is mm -hmm. a constitution right for everybody to do that. But I think we should do it peacefully because uh, if you start attacking people, if you start attacking you know, businessmen and attacking cars and everything, then I think we, we, we are not doing the right thing. But yes, they have the right if, uh, for demonstration uh, until what they want is put on the table. But I don't, I don't support thuggery in it. Okay. Mohamed Ali, thank you so much for coming on tonight. Asante. Jichopevu mengia bunge. By the way, uh, we'll bring Jichopevu back again on air. So really? We'll so you're going to be a, a working journalist <laughs> and yes. MP? Yes. We'll try and uh, do, just like lawyers who uh, do. They, they just like they practice yes, in, they in court practice and in court they're still MPs. And they're always in parliament. So I want to, I want to bring it back. Hopefully it will be, come back to NTV. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll see about it. We'll talk about Asante it. Asante Sana. All the best. Yes, Asante. The MP for Nyali, Mohamed Ali, speaking to us. When we come back, Dr. Jafet Kavinga Kaluyu joining us from Washington, D.C. And Abduba Deda, they're both running for president. They'll be here in a moment. Stay. Come back in a moment, will you?